Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Brian House here for housework. And you're staring at four 24 by 24 sheets of 3 8 inch or 0.375 inches thick. Plate steel, mild steel. My friends over at Tampa Bay Steel delivered this today, and we live in exciting times. So, I'm designing this grinder, putting it all together in SketchUp, and my 13-year-old son, Dexter, says, Dad, why don't we 3D print some of those parts to see if they will actually work? You know, that way you can hold one in your hand. And I said, well, how long is that going to take? And in about an hour and a half, I had this. This is, uh, for those of you who have been watching, this is the hinge that I designed in SketchUp to do the 90 degree rotation on the new 2x72 grinder build. And I thought, yeah, that, uh, that seems about right. In fact, we, he even printed it the right thickness. This is that uh, 3 8 inch or 0.375. And I got, a, I got to hold it. Now, then I went over to my, my grinder and I put it up next to the tube steel and I looked at it and you know what? I can't find a whole lot wrong with it. So again, we don't know if this is going to work or not, but this was just another affirmation that we are on the right path. And I really like that. So anyhow, we've got the 3D printed hinge. We've got our plate steel. I don't have a plasma CNC. I don't have a laser cutter, but thank you to those of you who have written into me and sent me your, your ideas and your take on the plasma cutter. Um, there's one guy in particular, Vet Picking, sent me a phone number last night to a guy in, I think on the East Coast of Florida that's got a laser cutter. Uh, I haven't reached out yet, but I'm going to. I'm sort of rethinking that whole process. Maybe the CNC plasma might not be right for me, or maybe it's good for prototyping. I don't know. I'm still fumbling around with the idea. I still like the idea of supporting a company like Langmuir Systems. I just think that what those guys are trying to do is a pretty amazing thing. And, um, you know, even if I buy one and it's not perfect or it's not exactly what I need, I still like the idea that I'm supporting their business, American made products designed by us here in the States and produced here, high quality stuff. And it's also got a really great feel because, you know, this country was built on manufacturing. That's what we did for a long time. And we've since gotten away from that, but I think maybe things are turning around. I don't know. Anyway, long story short is I'm sort of reconsidering it. I, you know, that order, I could probably return it, but I'm still going to probably get one. That said, I don't have it today. So I'm thinking, let's try to cut a few of these out of this steel using um, a, a, a rudimentary tool. It's just a a, a grinding wheel on a four inch grinder. And my friends over at Klingspore sent me a box of ceramic cutoff wheels to try out. And I don't know if you've ever heard of Klingspore before, but they're a, they're manufactured in Germany, made in Poland, designed in Germany. So anyway, Thank you for this, Bob over at Klingspore. Appreciate you. I'm gonna give that a shot today. Hopefully that makes our work a little bit lighter and easier today. Let's get this swapped out. This grinding wheel swapped out here. Okay, getting all set up. I'm actually thinking about just cutting it in such a way that I can finish the cuts on the bandsaw. I'm excited. Let's do it.
Well, that was a challenge, but I did manage to get the hole drilled through all of these hinges. This piece of threaded rod is the only thing I have in this shop that's exactly three quarters of an inch. Now I did go on to McMaster car and I ordered the nine and a half inch by three quarter inch bolt and locking nut that will serve as the axle that goes through the stanchions and through these actual hinges here. Uh, Jeff had made a comment uh, yesterday about using some sort of a pin, like a spring pin locking mechanism, and that might be easier to make if you didn't have a plasma cutter. For the prototyping portion of this, I'm actually not gonna mill out that C channel there for the locking mechanism because I simply just can't do it. I mean, I guess I could probably drill it out and then use a file, it would take forever. But I am gonna use his idea of do, doing the pins, I think. And if it works, great. If not, then, um, yeah, I don't, you know, honestly, I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is drill a hole through the hinge in the front all the way through the pillar, or at least into the face of the pillar, and then tap it, and then we'll just use a screw, pull it out, turn it 90 degrees, lock it into place again with the screw. That could work. I'm just gonna try to avoid having to mill that out by hand. And that, uh, that step bit that I used, those things are insanely cool. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to make that work. Um, the process of going through, cause you can't get all the way through the 3 8 inch steel, but so you basically have to go through one side down and then flip it over and go through the other side and hope that you line everything up okay. The strategy I used was just when I stacked everything, I only did one at a time. So it kind of created its own little guide as I was doing it. It's pretty straightforward. You just got to take your time. The other thing is, is this took me about three hours to make, to get to this point. So that's from cutting them out of the plate steel here and using the ceramic cutoff wheel. I, I do want to mention uh, that if you can get your hands on some of these ceramic cutoff wheels, that was a game changer. This thing rocked. I mean, I went through one and a half of them basically to, to cut this much steel out, but man, that rocked it. And then the ceramic VSM belt just chewed through a 3 8 inch steel like nobody's business. That was great. That portion, portion of it was pretty straightforward. And then you saw me using the magnet to kind of hold them all together just to, enough to where I could get a fairly decent shape that would sort of line all up. Um, again, plasma cutter probably would have taken me 20 minutes. This process, three, almost four hours to get to where I am right now. But we are prototyping after all. So this is just part of that process. At this point, I think I'll probably just go ahead and cut the tubes for the risers, the pillars, and the frame just to kind of move this thing along. I'm trying to think of what would be stopping me really from doing that other than it's the end of the day right now and I need an espresso. But yeah, I think tomorrow, if I have time and I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to go ahead, cut those tubes and line all this up and just see, maybe we'll tack it together, see what happens. I've got the plate steel now, so nothing stopping me and the hardware will show up tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're waiting on the tracking wheel, the drive wheel. Oh, and the VFD showed up today. So this is, uh, this is gonna happen, guys. I'm so excited. I, I, it gives me goosebumps to think about all you guys watching this, participating in this, leaving me comments, giving me suggestions, and supporting me through the process. It really is an amazing feeling. So anyhow, guys, if you got something out of today's video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, that helps my channel out a lot. Also, there are links down in the description. Anything you see right here in my workshop is available through my Amazon store. You click through, it's all broken down into different projects and different tools and safety equipment, and it's a free way to support my channel. Now, if you wanna take your support to the next level, I do have a Patreon page, and for as little as $1 a month, you can 
support me in all these projects that I'm doing right here in my workshop and studio. As always, guys, thank you so much. Check my website, housework.us. Possibly, sometime in the near future, there might be plans and parts available for this grinder. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Have a great day. This is Brian House, and this has been Housework.